Hello and welcome to another episode of Commander Fodder. So we're on to the theme deck episode for Nemesis. And um, I have my theme deck of choice here out of the four. So just to show you what, what there were in this particular set, what there was in this particular set, we've got um, green blue with parallax inhibitor and sky shroud via moth as our rares fading counter shenanigans and yep we have eruption and this looks like some sort of flowstone deck flowstone overseer and oracle's attendance a mercenaries deck which is mono black belby's portal and rathi assassin and the replicator deck which has sapling burst and sapling cluster as the rares it's predominantly green with black so um, i've elected to go down the tribal route and play tribal mercenaries that's what we're going to do here so here's the actual deck in its original form you can see if we go down the creatures here here's all our all predominant mercenaries there's a few that aren't like support cards there's a wall in there so I'm going to do what I normally do with these sort of decks is we don't have at the moment a legendary in here so if there's no legendary I try and keep it to the original colors of the deck which in this case is mono black I also for the purposes of seeding keep as many of the cards as I can unless there's something really ridiculous in here that you know it's going to really mess things up but I'm not I don't see anything I mean there's cards I'd probably remove to improve synergies like some of the um, non mercenaries and replace them with uh, utility cards but um, often the object of the exercise for the episode is not to get a perfect deck at the end of it um, all of these decks that I'm sort of building will need various tweaks and tweezes but it sort of gets the deck in the right direction really and if we go down we can see yep we have a full complement of mercenaries so moving on to the actual commander deck version if you like because the whole point in the title is these cards form deck fodder for a commander version so what i've done here is i've taken out all the multiple copies but all of the original cards are in here as one-offs now as i said the deck doesn't contain a legendary so first thing we're going to just stay with with mono black so what i thought i'd do is there is a mono black legendary in the set in Nemesis in the form as of Ascendant Avin I never I can never say this Avincar which has flying other black creatures get plus one plus one non black creatures get minus one minus one it's six to play for a three three so but it's not a mercenary I'm not aware of a, a mercenary legend. I could be wrong. Um, I've not stumbled across one. If, if anybody's aware of one, then let me know. One possibility, which I am aware of, is I suppose I could play Morophon and just play, or, you know, play black cards. So I could stay with that, but play Morophon. Seven to cast, a six-six. 
as it enters the battlefield you choose a creature type obviously that's going to be mercenaries spells on the chosen type you cast cost white blue black red green as to cast this effect reduces only the amount of colored mana you pay other creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one so it could be a thing i think the trouble is if you play this with a mercenaries deck it is super tempting to play mercenaries plus good stuff in other colours. And so in some ways by choosing Evincar here, Ascendant Evincar. And I, in a previous episode I explained why why the name's been changed. Um, because this of course is Crovax. Crovax. Yeah, I'm having trouble with pronunciation this morning. Yeah, this is Crovax. But I did, did, expen I did explain in... Uh, the set musings for this set why this doesn't have crowfax in the uh, in the title the other thing i'm going to do is i suspect and there are a couple of cards already um <coughs> they these cards mention swamps <coughs> excuse me so what i'm going to do is start off with a, a slightly higher uh, basic land count than normal uh, in, obviously in my swamps and then what will happen is as I substitute out those basic lands with utility cards I'll still keep the swamp count fairly high obviously I might reduce that if in the process of, of doing this build and whatever the architect algorithm kicks up I don't get too many cards that care about swamps then that yeah, I might go lower overall on the land but we'll see now under normal conditions if you remember how this works is is i do try and get away with seeding this as as low as i can go so what normally happens in the case of where i'm doing theme decks the theme deck is the seed and then when i'm doing rares which is the other version of commander fodder that i do for sets i'll, I'll add in <coughs> additional cards beyond like you know two or three well the original seed plus a couple of cards because you have to have a certain amount of cards for these algorithms to work but i normally go a bit beyond that and add in additional cards to push the deck in a certain direction based on the theme of the rare so in this case where i'm doing the theme deck as i've already said i normally would leave it at this and just use this as a seed but because i really want to overstate if you like the mercenary tribal i'm going to add in other tribal elements in here both in terms of cards that care about tribal or cards that are mercenaries or cards that support mercenary type abilities there might be a couple of exceptions here where i've put in cards that um i can see one already which is just in here because we're we're going all in mono black. So one card I do want in is adaptive automaton. Makes sense in a tribal deck where I don't have necessarily a particular tribal lord. And even when I do it did, it's a good card to sort of beef up that side of things. Bog glide is not in here. So the other thing you remember with the mercenary cards is they have this, have this recruiter ability so that's another reason for playing so so with mercenary tribals or any tribal sometimes what will happen is you will you know, pick a tribe but you won't always play obviously some of the weaker tribal cards with these cards because they have that recruiter ability on them you're going to want to play them because they're going to be able to hunt down stronger cards in your deck so there might be a tendency to play a mercenary in mercenary tribal where you wouldn't play in another tribal deck a card of a similar power if that makes sense uh, because of the the recruiting ability so that's my take on that i could be wrong but that's the way i'm thinking with this I did put Doom Necromancer in 
Uh, oh no, that is a cleric mercenary. So that returns a creature card from graveyard to play. Any any creature card as well, although I have to sack it. Yeah, one o block black. So Gary. Icon of Ancestry makes sense. It's the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Creature of the chosen type get plus one plus one. Three tap. Look at the top three cards of your library. You make a real card, creature card of the chosen type from among them and put it to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in, in, in a random order. So we've got tribal recruitment on that card as well. Silent Assassin. Does have that assassin ability on it, not surprisingly. And also we've got Brass Herald. Another tribal card. Nice. So the stuff that's sort of come across from the original deck. So we've got Dark Ritual, Dark Triumph. And this is all the obviously non-creature cards. Uh, Catarine Summoners, which cares about mercenaries. We've got Massacre in here. Mind Swords. Haunted Crossroads. Another way of getting stuff back from the library. Um, from the graveyard. Intimidation. Parallax Dementia. I mean, not necessarily, a, this would be a candidate for, for removal at a later date. It's taken out. And we've got Seal of Doom as well. So what we're going to be looking for is obviously stronger spot removal. Stuff that our opponent won't necessarily see coming. There's probably um, more utility artifacts that probably could get end up in here, I suspect. But the idea is we're going to be... So we're already on 24 with what we have already. There's probably some more utility creatures that definitely need to go in here. So we're going to be you know, running a creature count maybe in the 30s low to mid 30s so that's the that's the plan it'd be interesting to see if we kick up a planeswalker i should here be able to use the uh, architect one which tends to bring up a bit more corner casey suggestions really which is always cool okay So this counts as a mercenary, and that that's the other thing, of course, with this. Um, changeling cards with this on it, really useful. Yeah, it seems like plain black, because that, that applies to any other... Oh, that's in in any graveyard. I shouldn't find any other mercenaries to play. I think I got most of them, so and the rest are just going to be utility cards. Obviously, we're going to see a prevalence of vampires here because I'm playing uh, because of my little legendary that I've chosen is a vampire. I 
actual fact. Let me just like make a t slight tweak here. Where's he gone? There we go. Let's take out the other one. Like. Well, you know, it's got the same card border. This is nasty. We're playing mono black, so. That's another thing is I can play high mana utility cards because I'm playing mono black. So I did want to play another assassin in here. Shriek more. I do like this sorceress queen as well. The oh, your life total can't change. Mm. That's nasty. That means I can only be killed through what commander damage or card or alternate win conditions. play that as a mana rock. We'll see. Yeah, we should play Harvester of Souls actually. There we go, whenever I land into the perfect you could draw the creature you could draw. Yeah. Belongs in the deck. Okay, I just my target non creature whose power and toughness aren't equal. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh yeah, panda. It's always interesting to have a creature where you've got a wrath effect stapled to it. Right, 33 I'm actually going to take out couple of the non mercenaries I'll leave it like that for the moment. I'm not too sure whether I want Sorceress Queen in here or not, but I just like this card, it's cool. Okay. So that's our creatures pretty much sorted out. I don't think I want to add any more. I'm going to have a quick look at see what Planeswalkers it suggests. Creature you control get plus one plus zero until end of turn. Destroy target creature. Till end of turn, creature you control gain death touch. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that in. Let's have a look at our utility land. Battlefield, you may put a target creature card. Let's put some cyclers in. Take out one, two, three. The other thing. wanted to put in here before I forget. We'll see if it suggests it first actually. 
I mean, I'll, then I'll probably forget anyway. Now there was, I'm thinking of, oh, my mind's gone blank. There's obviously some utility artifacts that would work in here. Was it like Hall of Triumph? And it wouldn't hurt to put something like a jet medallion in here. And the one that I was having trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, what the hell? Money, no object. <laughs> so the two. Oh, oh damn it, what's the matter with me? Some cabal cards. So I wish one of those in and what was the other one? Cabal Stronghold, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And I suppose No, I end up putting this in every deck. The Rogue's Passage. And the one from, was it World Wake? As I'm playing Black. Was it the Duke of Bourbon? Good mono black utility land. Right. Take this down. We've still got 31 swamps. Although saying that, I don't, I don't know if I have a ton of cards that care about swamps. But anyway. Now the other thing is, what have we got here? Three artifacts. It's um pop in some artifacts to bring that count up a little bit. <clears throat> now the card I was thinking of, actually let me put it in now before I forget. It just restates the ability on here. I know it also will give your opponent some black creatures plus one plus one as well. There's a load of other cards I could add in as well. I mean, I haven't got... Again, I was trying to not go too crazy with the creature count. You know, the Avatar of Woe is another one that probably belongs in here. Oh. Yeah, I can't resist putting that on, on my commander. Interesting choices here. Might as well play this if I wanted a two drop mana generator. Personally. So an actual fact. Might as well run that because it's actually better than a charcoal diamond. It's a charcoal diamond into the battlefield tapped. I think 
Did I have a... I should have... I don't think this came up. A heraldic banner. That would be cool. We do have a dark ritual in here. And an icon, icon of his ancestry. Seeing as I'm playing mono black, we should put It's the green one, it's I I can never remember which ones are which it's the other one. Okay, artifacts. I mean, I could play a coat of arms, that would be, <laughs> but of course it, it's always a bit of a problem if anybody else is playing tribal. I'm better off with these really, unless unfortunately someone else is playing mercenary tribal. This one. I could I could play a library of lane, of course. Now if I'm I like a strain to play good. Okay, I was more concerned if they end up in my hand. Um I might want to play things like Library of Lang and uh, things that don't care about hand size. What I will do is just as a reminder stick that in my sideboard. we doing right I suppose I better think about some spot removal and some enchantments actually hmm Enchantments dive in the deck already. I've already got about five, so let's just see whether anything else is. I've already got bad moon.
chant at my commander, that's the question. Because of all this other stuff, let's just try this out. Oh no, that's already in there. <laughs> so I have all the creatures I need. Okay, so I don't even want to pack, so we should play murder. Choose one, destroy target creature or return. So what set does that come from then? Ah, it was from Meridian originally. Good to know. Looks like one's probably a dark ritual. Yep. That looks like a doom blade, I reckon. Seeing as it's in here. See, that's the cell I remember it from. Hmm. 
Now, I'm just going to play around with the artwork here. It's my favourite. Oh yeah, that's really weird. So I recognise that from 10th edition. There's the classic one. I'm assuming if you had an original Only 50 bucks for a black border version of Terra. Destroys target creature without possibility of regeneration. Does not affect black creatures and artifact creatures. Yeah. Oh, it's a classic. Okay, how are we doing? Five cards. We got like sorceries. So, what are we missing? So, enchantments, okay. Oh, that's why I said we're showing extra creatures because I shoved in that lead mirror. Do I need all of these? Okay. What sort of recommendations are we getting for sorceries? So I'm just looking for sorcery speed mass removal, I suppose. Oh, I forgot about that. It's amazing what you uncover, because there's all those, there's several black cards now thinking about that have a modal that will destroy a, a land or a non-black creature. else was that in? Oh, it's only ever been in the starter deck. Online it's been in the treasure test. That's well, only two bucks. Yeah, why not? I'm sure there's another card that does the same, but <laughs> it just looks cool. Okay. Let me have a look actually. The MTG Assist, I think, was the name of the website. This is quite common. I've used this for several weeks now actually. Um, Oh, that was it, Befoul. That's what I was trying to think of. Two and two black. But this one, it can't be regenerated. Let's try to get land on non black. Two and two black. Oh, look at all these. All three speed. Hand of Death. <laughs> wow. I should start using this again because it 
does bring up some interesting stuff. Okay, I'm just going <coughs> to sideboard that because it looks so cool, but let's run a biff out. Seeing as that's the card I was trying to think of. What was that printed in? Oh, there's a saga. edition had a oh, completely different art wow that's interesting artwork <laughs> yeah what do I prefer see uh, it's just the border it's more, it fits in more with this deck <coughs> aesthetically <laughs> right okay three cards only running at around 200 bucks Right, where was I? Sorceries. One more card. Do I want something modal? Actually, yeah, let's just do it while we're looking at sorceries. Let's just stick in a profane command. I think I'm there. Yep, okay. Well, that's cool. That was interesting. Found some interesting old cards here, which is yeah, part of the fun of this. Um, I think as I've said on several occasions before, I'm not obviously trying to build the most optimal deck. Um, part of it is just uncovering cards that you might not normally see. I wonder how long Mutilate's been around for. Oh dear, that's very disturbing. So is that. And there's obviously other things like, I don't know, Plague Wind and Siphon Mind. we could potentially run in this deck. The other thing is, of course, I've completely forgot about is cards like Corrupt. And then 
stuff like in Garrick's Wake and yeah and we could have particularly run as a different you know there's a different choice of in, in our sorcery slot remember because this is a card I always forget <coughs> it's a pretty high cost so what's that nine drop But yeah, I could go on. I mean, there's just so many other things. You've got things like um, Intimidation, which would be an enchantment you could run. You could run Black Market. And I, I'm not running a ton of non-mercenary stuff. Let me just check something. So as a conspiracy comes into play, choose a creature type. Creature cards you own that aren't in play. Creature spells you control and creatures you control are the chosen type. So in a tribal deck in black where you're looking to play additional support cards in fact that would be particularly strong because then where's it gone the um, recruitment ability would work actually I didn't even think about that Creature cards you own that aren't in play. Creature cards you control. Creature, sorry, creature spells you control and creatures you control are the chosen type. Okay, that is pretty useful. Although, of course, you're limited by... What's my... just sideboard that for the moment so just out of curiosity that means that I could use my recruiting ability to hunt stuff down now the highest if I sort this by Secondary sort of CMC. So that, if I had a Catarin Overlord in play, that would find. Well, no, it wouldn't find this, but it would find anything below it, which is interesting. So yeah, that's one I've not thought of until the very end, obviously, because I did ultimately think of it. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I'll leave that in the sideboard for the moment, just as inspiration. So I'm just trying to think what what is the advantage of having that and then being able to do that. The other thing we don't have in here is, and again, you probably have to search through a few of these, you know, specific ways of dealing with artefacts or and enchantments. 
don't think I've got anything that does that. So yeah, that's probably what if I wanted to take it any further I'd start, you know, looking at next is just going through and finding odd cards here and there that are have ways of dealing with certain types of cards that might be problematic. Anyway, there we have it. I'm gonna obviously uh export this and uh, put it in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the deck turtle for the command of well for the sorry not the deck turtle I keep saying that it gets confusing when I'm producing all these parallel episodes that <clears throat> run you know they're all synchronized by set what I meant to say was I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the commander fodder where we use the mercenaries theme deck from nemesis thank you very much for watching bye for now